Welcome to Shooting Cars. Do you love cars? And it doesn't matter. Be it Italian, American, German, exotic, super expensive, or dirt cheap. As long as you love the automobile, you're welcome here. What is Shooting Cars? Shooting Cars is basically me running around with a camera trying to talk really nice people into letting me ride or drive in their cars and shoot videos so you can see. New cars, old cars, custom cars, basic cars, and even two-wheeled cars. Wait, those are motorcycles. Today on Shooting Cars, we get a ride-along in an absolutely sinister Dodge Viper RT10. In 1995, you could have bought this exact Dodge Viper for around $70,000. What $70,000 get you? Well, first, it gets you an 8 liter V10. And if that's not enough, it also gets you um, not much else besides 0 to 60 in 4 seconds flat. The Viper didn't come with a roof or windows, but it did come with some awesome racing strikes. After a local car show, I was able to talk the owner of this particular 95 Viper into taking it out for a spin. Well, he didn't let me drive, but I don't blame him. This car is radical even for today. It weighs less than most two-seat convertibles today, and it didn't come with traction control, ABS, or anything else until the brand new Viper came out just recently. It's insane. Now, the Spartan theme goes into the interior as well if you notice nothing too special but it all works the seats are comfortable ish and the steering wheel turns and the gear lever shifts what else could you ask for in a sports car oh right uh, that too uh, <laughs> side exhaust pipes both sides. Now, we didn't ride around enough to see if they would get hot enough to burn my leg like I've heard so many vipers do, but man, when you floor it, oh, it sounds amazing. Uh, just, it's an amazing car. It's, it's a psychopath in a black tux. Even from the passenger seat, you can get a feel that this car is something special. It's, it's a monster. I mean, it's named after a poisonous snake. The Corvette was named after a battleship. This is named after something that can kill you. Okay, no disrespect to Corvette owners, but where the Corvette has gradually evolved into the amazing world-beating sports car it is, the Viper just happened. In the 90s, Carroll Shelby and Chrysler got together, shoved a truck V10 engine and transmission into a tiny sports car frame, and then set it loose upon the world. I can't imagine being a child playing on a street one day and seeing one of these drive by. It would have been terrifying and amazing all at the same time. Now, unfortunately, we didn't have time to get all the video I wanted, but as I closed the door handleless door, because, you know, why not save a little more weight, and watched the Viper drive away, I couldn't help but be happy that this car exists. I mean, it kind of makes you think. Would the world be a different place without it? A little safer? A little more sane? Man, I hope not.